it has been roasted yeah i think that's what i can say and then i've added sugar having lunch here in Africa that is tea mandazi and this one of the tea Hello my people of the internet, what's going on here? My name is Hansel Peter and welcome or welcome back to I'm Hansel YouTube channel. In case you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I release new videos here on the channel. I'm coming to you live and clear from my parents village this is majungani village it's actually located in the coastal parts of kenya africa so it's a brand new day and i hope you are also doing fine from wherever you're tuned in 
all across the world <laughs> yeah so we've actually received uh, poles oh sorry sorry i almost fall so we just received these poles right now by a motorcycle look how tall they are like they are seven feet seven feet long yes, so they are taller they are taller than me so we've just, we've just received them right now it's actually noon at the time of filming this video they are very heavy and very durable as you can see them they are very strong they are very strong because this is actually from indigenous tree it's from a natural tree they are so heavy very heavy indeed so i'm actually taking them here and putting them on the shed right there yes. They're actually turning now. Yeah. They're, they're turning now. One more remaining. So this is it guys. Show you the progress of our project here in the village. The project of basically fencing the entire compound. I'm starting from right here, so this is actually like the normal gate. No, this is actually the normal gate. So the thing is, you can see this is like uh, starting from this point going to the other corner over there the other end this place has entirely been fenced as you can see it has actually been entirely fenced this side again this other side again. this side again it has been fenced see this other side again it has been completely fenced and this is a very huge transformation here in the village the thing is here in this village we only have one person that is a bit far away from our home that literally fenced is on land you know and maybe it's like we are the second people you can see so from this side to the far end from this side to the far end completely fenced and now then going this other side not yet fenced Yes. 
can see. So from this side, this side entirely fenced. This is actually the corner. And now we need this other side to be fenced. So I'll be walking this way so that you get to see what parts of this land hasn't yet been fenced. And I can see a, a, a small car from a little far, probably at the fence of our land here in Africa. <laughs> so you can see there are lots of holes over here that hasn't been fenced yet. It's rare when you are here in the village to see cars passing around, very rare. Yes, so from up there going this other side we dug some holes but the real job hasn't taken place yet so this is actually the pending job right here and i guess by the end of this week we shall have completely done away with this project i hope so because for me I feel like uh, this project is taking long and long. I didn't even expect this. I thought that uh, once we started this project, after only two weeks, we should have done away this project. But again, it is all, it is what it is. Yeah. Sometimes work requires patience and a little of humility, you know. Yeah. So you can see the holes, there are many holes. So yesterday I, I, I tried to estimate how much this uh, we've covered this work. And I noticed that uh, we are a halfway. We are literally a, a halfway. So this is like, uh, uh, this is actually the hole at the corner. So once I was there, I showed you that corner and I walked this way and now I'm seeing the other corner right here. And the other corner is somewhere right over there. Okay, so uh, yeah, this piece of our land here, it's actually uh, somehow triangular in, sh in shape. And the work that uh, has already been done, it's uh, it's more of a, we are a halfway to get the job done. So let me continue on walking this other side so that uh, you can get to understand or notice the far that we've come ever since we started this project. Somebody, can you hear this sound? Like to 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 to. I can see there are, you know, in this village of ours, we do have some pastoral communities, commonly known as the Maasai. So they normally have like huge herds of cattle, sheep and goats. And they normally occupy areas like this, bushy areas like this, that are, there's actually no home. Uh, yeah, so the, their main means of income is herding or other pastoralism so i can see sheep goats and even the cattle they can even see a um, maasai boy right over here yes yeah but i do it to this camera that i have it's not able to zoom when i really want somebody look at this hole this hole has been sitting over here it's actually waiting for the poles so let me walk this way also yeah speaking of uh, the condition of this land it's actually harvesting not it's not uh, like the right harvesting time but uh, we harvested like uh, a month ago yes yeah, so that's why this place is not that much green you see these are like uh, dried crops we harvested here like uh, one month ago and 
yeah what we are waiting for is like uh, we are just waiting for the rainy season to begin that's actually the next planting season yeah this way hasn't yet been covered by work or by inserting the poles over here there's a little project here of my dad this is actually a beehive sitting right there and this place is actually risky where i'm actually walking another one right there the third one right there very risky because there are actually live bees the live bees over there yes so continue on with this other side the work hasn't yet been covered look at these good holes that were dug they are just waiting for the poles you know yes so coming to this other side this is the last the last yes now i'm over here my home is right there yes right there so i've been walking that way around and i'm here yes so let me walk this other side also that you can see clearly work that has been done and this is like very huge transformation this is a very huge transformation in my village over here you never get to see this easily here in my village because i've been told that uh, there's only one person that has done this to, to his home you know so this is very rare and at times when we do have neighbors that are don't really like success neighbors that don't really like uh, progress sometimes jealousy starts to kick in envy starts to kill in it starts to kick in and i'm very uh, confident when i say that you see now here we are at the corner this is like uh, the main road the main road over here it goes this way and then our gate is somewhere there so this is another corner Yeah, this is another corner so this is like a maybe i call it the first corner the second corner is somewhere there and the third corner is somewhere there i told you uh, this piece of land is in a shape of a triangular it's triangular in shape yeah so i was talking about uh, sometimes we do have neighbors here in the village that uh they envy at people's progress like uh, you can see this area there's there's a reason as to why we decided to fence this uh, land and of course by the help of you guys that are watching and i really really appreciate you so much for your love and support like uh, you've been amazing you know you've showed you've shown us much love and support and i'm really thankful for all of you yeah so i was saying you can see the main reason as to why we even start this project to begin with is due to the fact that uh, this land somewhere down there somebody started fire you know and by then it was harvesting time and there's no rain even until now there's no there's no rain it was like uh, the period where people get to harvest and you know when the people get to harvest it's it's usually on a dry spell it's usually on a dry season so somebody out of his mind i don't know if it was uh, really i don't know if it really was a mistake but i don't think so because how on earth do you come and light fire and then it it gets to spread and the moment that you are lighting fire 
it's actually in the afternoon where the winds have started picking up there's a lot of wind the ground is very dry so when you need fire it actually spreads out you know so fire was lit at the point that you've seen the beehives somewhere around there fire started spreading from that side and it came all the way to this way and at the time it was going coming this way it all it was also coming at the other end at the surrounding the other side you see this side and that other side so uh, fire was also coming through that other side so it was like a <coughs> how should i say it it was <coughs> excuse me guys hey. so it was like a fire coming or fire spreading in two lanes this way this way this way this side and that and the other side so when fire came like a uh, and by then we had the uh, crops over here that were dried they were just waiting for the harvest so you can imagine if we did not intervene through our through what we had you know if we couldn't intervene it was a disaster so fire could have catch even the maize the corn that we had planted here so fire could have caught everything and the center is actually the the home like it was tragedy tragedy here in the village something that you don't want to see happen you know again and by then by then when the fire was actually Spreading this other, we didn't even have the fire extinguisher. Uh, we had ran out of water and things like that. So fire was actually surrounding the entire home over there. So that's why it's, when fire was spreading this other side, fire was also spreading the other side and fire met this way. And even some of the fire started spreading to this other side but it, it didn't do any damage again there's no one living here no one lives here the same thing to here fire was spreading here and also this side and this side no one even lives here that is it guys uh, for me i can say that i'm really grateful and thankful to you all who have been supporting us showing us some love yeah I really commend you so much yeah so this is that side that I showed you on my previous video when I got home here from my own village from where I ha I was and I traveled to this place so this is that place that I showed you this side I mean this side because you are necessarily not here but you can see it from the video so I have to make sure that uh, I try as much as I can to explain to you the side uh, of my home where I am, when I'm here, when I'm down there and things like that. Yes, guys, thanks. I'm thankful to you all. Yes, as you can see now, I'm coming to my, to our gate over here. You can see fire literally spread that other side but good thing nobody lives there yes, so this is like the gate now yes in case you've enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i think i'll see you in my next video and the thing is the reason as to why i'm not doing longer videos like a one hour or so uh, maybe it's because I'll have trouble publishing my video to the internet because here uh, the internet connectivity is not that great so if I try to to make very long videos I'll have trouble myself putting it for you to watch so that's why I'm just trying what I can uh, yeah 
and yeah that is it bye